at Columbia Care Dispensary in Portsmouth. It's a busy morning with people buying medical marijuana. Now I've been doing this and it has been a lot better. Among the customers, Levi Corbier, a disabled Navy veteran using medical marijuana to manage pain. I'm back to being able to hang out with my kids and stuff like that. As Virginia debates the next steps to take in marijuana legalization, Corbier thinks legal retail sales would help others like him. I think it really would open up a whole new avenue for veterans, especially. Virginia lawmakers voted along party lines in 2021 to legalize simple possession of marijuana, but left it up to future legislative action to work out how retail sales would work, currently scheduled to begin in 2024. So what should happen next? Among the proposals, setting up retail sales at medical dispensaries that are already in existence in Virginia, like this one here in Portsmouth. I think it's been very haphazard. You know, here it was legal last year, but you can't legally purchase it. You can grow it, but you can't purchase it. I speak to you in the committee today as a physician. Republican State Senator Shabon Donovan proposed a bill to start legal retail sales in Virginia on July 1st, 2022 at Virginia's eight current medical dispensaries with two enhanced and roads. But it appears another proposal has more favor to begin sales on January 1st, 2023. Donovan joined with all of her Republican colleagues last year in voting against the legalization bill. But now with Republicans in charge of the House of Delegates and Governor Yunkin in office, Republicans have a lot more say this go around in figuring out the regulations of sales. The intent behind it is to um, find a way to get to legal sales of marijuana. The executive director of Virginia Normal, J.M. Padini, has been pushing Virginia to speed up the start of sales. Sooner really is better. But still other groups, including one called Marijuana Justice, think 2024 is the better date. Their executive director, Chelsea Higgs-Wise, says it's needed to set things up to ensure sales and licenses are given out in an equitable way. We always knew that uh, taking our time with developing an industry would be the right thing to do. Good morning, everyone. Republican lawmakers have said they are working with the Yunkin administration on this issue. It's a mess and it's been handed to us, so we, we hope to deal with it responsibly. In a statement, a Yunkin spokesperson says in part, quote, he does have serious concerns about the pieces of the bill establishing a commercial market Adding the current law, quote, establishes an unstable market that includes anti-competitive business provisions that set Virginia up to fail. The current bill would give people who have been convicted of misdemeanor marijuana crimes a potential leg up in getting a license. Democrats say it would help make up for African Americans being disproportionately impacted by marijuana laws. But a Republican proposal this year seeks to do away with that which marijuana justice hopes doesn't happen. These are the folks that have been targeted, but they also um, know the most about the plant. They know the most about their community. Another Republican idea would lower the sales tax to try and make sure people don't turn to the black market for sales. Lawmakers have until March 12th to sort it all out, with the negotiations happening this week to work it all out. The whole point of adult regulation is that it's available, it's safe, it's reliable, and it's not available to kids. In Portsmouth, Brendan Ponton, News 3.